Howdy, howdy, howdy. Welcome to a brand new Gomer Play series, The Guardian Legend. My childhood! Ah, yes, I am your host, Gomer the Ranting Thespian, and The Guardian Legend. Oh, wow. I think in Japan it was called Garudic Guardian or, or something like that, which is a spinoff game of some other game or whatever. I don't know quite know the history. Go look at TV Tropes. <laughs> Uh, this game was a big part of my childhood. I loved playing the hell out of it. It is difficult as balls. And I have it here on the sound test to begin with because I do not want to be interrupted by anything else. But I want to keep the cool music going. <laughs> and if you have a copy of this and you've never heard of the sound test, cheat or whatever, just hold like A or B or both. I, I held both and just hit reset on the emulator. And that seemed to work just fine. Um, so, you know, that works out pretty well. Um, <laughs> yeah. So there's not much there. There is some story to get into. So I am going to actually, I'm going to, I think I can just reset the thing here. Um, and it is this. Nope. This. Yes. So, okay. I, I've, I, we can get into the story thing right here. Yeah, this is one of the first times you're actually going to see me reset on a game. <laughs> uh, for those who are curious about what I use to record this, I am using Bandicam, which is so far has been working a lot better than Fraps has. A um, couple of couple of videos have been kind of tinkering here and there to try to get things right, but I think I finally got it. Um, time will tell, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, story time. <clears throat> Long ago, an alien race sent a huge world hurtling toward the Earth, loaded with a cargo of mysterious life forms. You must battle your way deep within the alien world to destroy its vicious inhabitants. You are the guardian of the Earth, and your saga will become the Guardian Legend. Yeah, not much of a story there. You get in there, you gotta blow up a planet, because if you don't, they're gonna run into our planet and blow us, and everybody will be blown up. And that's not a good thing. So we'll just pop right in. This is kind of genre-defying def a little bit. You got your shoot 'em up right here. And you also have little dungeon segments, which we'll see after after I get through this. As I've mentioned before, this game gets tough as balls, but I've, I've been able to beat it quite handily um, as I got older. Then again, again, like I said, this is my childhood right here. <laughs> it's like, just my fucking childhood. Um, one thing, one thing I do want to note that this is actually, this, uh, your main character is a female cyborg. And I, and I stress that because you know, because she is an example, you know, kind of an early example of uh, a female protagonist, a female heroine or hero, however you want to, however you want to say it, in video games. You know, yeah, she is kind of scantily clad, at, you know, whenever you see, like, artwork of her, which you'll see towards the end of the game. Um, but, you know, it's also justified. She's got, well, okay, maybe not so justified, but <laughs> I justify it by the time, maybe, but eh, turbo, come on. I have a turbo button. Uh, yeah, these things. Yeah, okay. So as you can see down at the bottom, you have like the meter down there. That's your shield meter. It, once that heart hits zero, one more hit will kill you if you're not careful. So first boss, just a whole shit ton of turrets and a light taste of bullet hell. You know, light taste of bullet hell, just like you want the light taste of Miller beer in your diet. Honestly, I've never had Miller beer. Uh, I only know I only know certain beers by the reputation, but that's okay. Ah, uh, if you want to give me a, if you want to buy me beer, buy me Lambic. That's that's all I gotta say. <laughs> Just this one little guy, and then boom. <laughs> Doo -doo 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 -doom. There we go. We got it. And there she is, our guardian. Cute, isn't she? <laughs> 8-bit limitations. Make her look like she's in a bikini. She probably is. Who knows? Um, actually, no, she's not. Um, so, as you can see, this is all, like, you know, dungeon-type areas. You can shoot, do the things. Um, and you have rooms like this that kind of help with exposition and hints. Um, if someone's reading this, I must have failed. The Star Naju was our home. But we were invaded by evil life forms. The Daleks? Everyone except me was killed. How the hell did you get... How did the... How the hell... Did you evade Daleks? I am going to try to activate the self-destruct device. Oh dear. If I if I fail, I would like you to do this task to to do this task so this cannot happen to any other race. Well, that's what we're here for. The self-destruct mechanism is protected by a safety device which is located in the underground corridors which you have to fly through. 
go, remove each seal and go deep inside Naju. If you destroy all ten safety devices, the self-destruct disc sequence will be activated. Unfortunately, there will be no time to escape thing. You, you can take as long as you need to escape. I don't have much time. I hope this message will not be read by anyone. It will mean that I have failed. Aww. So the guy's dead. Messages from a dead guy. So you shoot these, bl these blue pyramids. They can be shot. And you go to the next room like that. Ah. Overworld. Yay. You get monsters and all that really good stuff. This item. It increases the firing capabilities of your main gun. You could just hold down the B button instead of holding down the turbo button. Chip heaven! This resets, I think, every time you go into a corridor. So if you come in here and you don't get everything, like I'm going to go do now, go out, come back in. It's all pyramids! No! And I know what you're thinking. Go over, you seem kind of slow here. Well, don't worry, we'll speed up as the game goes on. And listen to that music. Yeah, good old 8-bit NES music. Oh shit! Mini boss! Mini boss time, baby! Yeah! <laughs> Who are you? Oh! Oh, it's you! This guy. This guy's kind of simple. He just comes up, looks around, and, he, and then he just leaves spiders for everybody. He's really simple to beat. <laughs> oh, hi! Come on, are you going to be... Nope. All right, and now. Should have waited for it until I had another item. That, what I just picked up, is a blue lander. It increases your life by one heart. You also get life... You also get uh, health increases for, like, every... I want to say 50,000 or 100,000 points. So points do matter here. Unlike, who, unlike whose line is it anyway. Although it's not nearly as funny. Uh this, this first part, you could take your time. In fact, I would if you're playing through this, I would recommend taking your time getting all of the items that you can. Because there's... Ow! There's little droplets that hurt you. Multi-bullets. First special weapon of the game. Oh, wrong button. This one. They use chips. As you can see down in the center here, you have a chip counter. That's your maximum chip. That also affects your main gun in a, in a way. And it'll be more noticeable as time goes on. But um, multi-bullets, multi it's just basically a more powerful bullet. Like that. Red Landers! They double your maximum chip capacity and fill you up completely. Hi. Yeah, the red chips that I'm picking up, they give you 500 chips. At this point, it maxes everything out. Blue chips only give you 10. That's something I didn't explain before. Oh, another boss. Now you can also in these in these uh in these labyrinths, you can actually avoid you know fighting a boss fight until you're ready by just walking out of the room like I just did. You can even let the wall close you in. <laughs> oh, this guy. This fucking guy. Actually, he's kind of easy right now, but later later versions of this boss will be a little more difficult. And he gives you bullet shield. Pretty much what it says on the tin. I kind of don't like it. <laughs> uh, so what's next? With this, I just kind of flap through that. Lightsaber! Lightsaber, beam saber, whatever you want to call it. Whatever flavor you want to give it. Point is, it's a laser sword. You can fucking slice things in two with it. <laughs> it's kind of awesome. There's also an upgrade. There's also another... Ow! There's also another... Uh, blade we you know a uh, laser blade weapon i call it the laser the laser bow for lack of a better term there is an official term for it i just don't remember what it is Ugh. so i haven't ex i didn't explore these rooms because i wanted to wait to get some more chips the round creature in this room it'll give you items in exchange for power chips so chips are also your currency so i have 100 what do i want to get Hmm. Do, do 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 I can't get that yet. Um. Uh, yeah, that's gonna get tiring, isn't it? <laughs> but I think I think I might wait. Or not. 
<laughs> I was going to wait. But that's okay. What I just picked up is basically a wave gun. You know, and and something else worth noting. Um, these guys also will help you save your progress by passwords. Set your weapon to no use. There's your password. Holy shit. And yes, I've had to, I've had the quote unquote pleasure of trying to put in those passwords. Those are fun. Especially when you're a little kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you imagine little kids doing that? Yeah. Little kids doing that nowadays? Can you imagine? What's in here? Put some weapons in these boxes. Okay, that's just Yeah, that's that's telling you about the special weapons. Uh -huh. And if you need to know how to remove the seal, ask the person who sealed it. There's one room in each area that sh that that will give you um, hints on how to break the main seal of that area. Um, like they said, 10 seals in all. There's 20 corridors, actually 21. 21 plus, if you count the uh, beginning and ending. Um, so each of the main 10 main ones have seals on them. To remove the seal at corridor number one, fire at the gate. All the rooms leading to the corridors are locked, so use the warp panel to get into the room. That's what these are. Blast through the cover. Yeah, we... we Kind of got that. But there's also keys, so some of them require keys. And I'll be showing that off in just a moment. But for now, I think I've got everything I can get out of here. Um, wave gun. You, I choose you. All right, corridor one. You just fire into the corridor. Really simple. Come on. And it opens up. Before we go in, that's the key. You notice you can't go in there without the proper key. Well, I'm going to get it in here. Whee! She's not just a spaceship. She's a transformer! <laughs> uh, first four corridors, two main ones, and then two side ones are underwater-based. So we're going to see a lot of fishies like this. I hated these things as a kid. That's another okay. So it's thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. I get a life increase. You know, a health increase. All right. Ah, some of these levels go abysmally slow. Scrolling. Ah, oh. that's that's that is one of the curses of auto scrolling levels like this. Ah, uh, fishy, fishy. Oh, hey, a manta ray. Wee. Ow. You dick. Oh, hey. Oop. And whoop. Oh, hey. Seahorses. Mutant seahorses. And I don't know what the hell that is, but I'm going to kill it. You guys, hi. You know, there's something I feel like I'm missing. Maybe I got the wrong item. I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. There's not really much we can do item-wise, so. This, this is actually among the easier of the levels. And I seem to remember having so much trouble with this as a kid. Oh, my God. Nowadays, I'm like, wait, I had trouble with this? What the fuck? Uh, wee! Doom, 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 bum, bum, bum. Oh, this thing. These things were so much fun. Just watch him go. <laughs> I mean, he would keep, if I hadn't killed him, he would have kept going for a while. And I might, I might use the next one to kind of showcase that. As long as the power-ups keep coming, I'll be okay. That's a big thing. A lot of... A lot of boss projectiles, as I, you might see in this in this next boss fight, it, they're gonna they're gonna have projectiles. Ow! Projectiles that actually show off the uh, thing here. Okay, here we go. Ow! Ooh, that was an energy tank. Instant, full refill of your life. Which I probably could word that better, but I don't give a shit. Heart, and I think, and something I forgot to explain earlier, the uh, heart items, they give you like eight hearts. So it's like if you have like, you know, like two hearts, it'll give, it'll pull you up to ten, that sort of thing. For those who aren't so mathematically inclined, oh, there we go. You can already see the shots already 
changing with the chip count. <laughs> yeah. Mm, yay. All right, guys. Run away. Ha ha ha. Let's see. Will we? Nope. Won't see him get destroyed before the boss. Because I think we're about to hit him. The boss. The boss of corridor number one. Fleepa, I believe his name is. Hi! You... You look extra... You look happy to see me. Oh, shit. It's called dodging. Let's try that. And see his projectiles. There we go. That helped. Whatever it was. Probably a heart, since it didn't refill any chips. There we go! Yay! Again, I had so many problems with him as a kid. <laughs> and we get a key for our trouble. Now, after this, I can, I'll probably just... Um, just hold the select button down and just skip through all of that. But for this first corridor, letting you guys watch that is a good... Yeah, I think it's alright. And this is... I believe this is called the Repeller. Or as Lord Cat once called it, the circle gun. Watch this. It's slow, slow burns. It's in an arc. There we go. Boom! Uh, so I'm actually going to leave it right here for now. Uh, the next video is probably going to be maybe about this long, maybe a little longer. Because uh, there's going to be three corridors to deal with in the next one. <laughs> oh, so... Um, so yeah, with that said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it so far. I uh, hope you keep... I hope you keep coming back for more of these videos. Uh, and until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, uh, signing off.